Hi everyone, this is a video on noiseless channels and noisy channels. I am going to explain briefly about noiseless channels and noisy channels only. Okay. First of all, noiseless channels. What is noiseless channel? Noiseless channel is an ideal channel in which no frames are lost, duplicated or corrupted. What are the protocols for noiseless channels? There are two protocols for this type of channel, that is noiseless channel. Number one, simplest protocol. Number two, stop and wait protocol. Simplest protocol does not use flow control, but stop and wait protocol uses flow control. Moreover, both protocols do not have error control because we have assumed that the channel is a perfect noiseless channel. Okay. Then coming to noisy channel. Generally, noiseless channels are not existing. They are non-existent channels. Then what is noisy channel? So noisy channels are channels in which frames are lost, duplicated and are corrupted. Because of this, error control is required. Okay. So, noisy channel means that there will be a lot of disturbance in the path when data is carried forward from sender to receiver. Actually, the receiver has limited buffer space and limited processing speed. So, the receiver can be overwhelmed with the incoming frames. So, flow control is needed to avoid overwhelming the receiver. Okay, protocols for noisy channels. So, what are the protocols for noisy channels? There are three protocols for noisy channels. Number one, stop and wait ARQ. Number two, go back N ARQ. Number three, selective repeat ARQ. These three protocols use error control. So they are they are using error control mechanism okay okay now the summary of protocols summary of protocols for both noiseless channels and noisy channels are given here Protocols for noiseless channel are simplest protocol and stop and wait protocol. At the same time, protocols for noisy channels are stop and wait ARQ, go back in ARQ, 
Selective Repeat ARQ. There are three protocols for noisy channel. Additional information from information theory. In information theory, the capacity of a noiseless channel is numerically equal to the rate at which it communicates binary digits, whereas the capacity of a noisy channel is less than this because it is limited by the amount of noise in the channel. So please see the figure 1. Figure 1 shows the channel capacity of noiseless and noisy channels. Right? As I told in the beginning, this video is just only on noiseless channels and noisy channels. I did not go into details about these protocols. The protocols for the noiseless channels and protocols for the noisy channels. Hope this video gives clear idea about noiseless channel and noisy channel. Okay. I would like to acknowledge the publicly available internet from where I have taken the image. Due references are given here. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Bye.